as Ukrainian soldiers wrap up their training on Leopard 2 tanks in Spain and in Germany before using them on the battlefield. Well, there's been a lot of misinformation going around about the delivery of these vehicles to Kiev. As a reminder, uh, many European countries have started to send these German-made tanks after Berlin reluctantly approved their transfer back in February last month. But certain social media users like uh, this one have been sharing misleading claims uh, that the newly arrived Leopard 2 tanks were captured by the Russian army after being stuck in Ukrainian mud. And many on Twitter like this one have criticized uh, the West uh, saying that these tanks aren't suitable for Ukrainian terrain. And here's the video that's been shared thousands of times online. So here in the cube, we decided to take a closer look at these posts. The first thing that we did is uh, take this uh, screen capture from the video and we did a reverse uh, image search and we found the original video on Instagram. It was posted in April 2022. So that's long before the West even agreed uh, on sending Leopard 2s to Ukraine, which only happened last month. And it was posted by the Wartofta tank company, which is part of the Skaraborgs Regiment of the Swedish Armed Forces. And the team's primary goal is to train soldiers soldiers uh, in ground combat and internationally and locally. The post uh, translated caption reads, sometimes things don't go as planned. Being heavy is not always an advantage. Last week, the company was down in Skane, which is a region in Sweden, and practiced and we gained valuable experience in assessing terrain. And AFP was even able to geolocate the site uh, where the video was shot and found it was filmed in Slivakra, a village in southern Sweden, located about 35 kilometers away from the city of uh, Malmo. But are the tanks in this video even Leopard 2s? Well, if you look closer at the hashtag in the caption, it says they are STRV. So that means Stritzwagen 122, and they're quite similar uh, to the Leopard 2 tanks because they're based on the German model, but adapted to Sweden's needs. Uh, so the video that you saw here on the Twitter post uh, are completely outdated and unrelated to Ukraine.